Hi dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about one of the customization. Through this customization, you can assign user-wise voucher security. I will show you how it's work. Before that, you want to load that customization. This is a method for loading the customization. Go to configure product and features, then manage local TDL. Then load TDL yes. List of TDL. Here you can here you can copy and paste your TCP location path. You can download this TCP from our online shop. Online shop description is in my video description. You can check. So I have the TCP. I'm going to load the TCP path here. This is the TCP. Then here copy this TCP location. Open the tally here. Paste that location path and enter and save. This is the procedure for loading TCP. After that, open your company. This is through your main admin and password. After that, we can assign the security level for each user. For that, go to company info, security control, create one security level type of security then come here then create one security level here I am entering the security level name select here data entry you can select data entry or owner as per your requirements right now I am selecting data entry then days allowed for backdated vouchers here you I am not selecting anything okay zero you can use also zero then save after that come to user and password here you can select your security level user then select the username password then here there is a one more option voucher type security make it yes then enter yes so the list of security level will appear in this screen, you can assign your voucher wise security for the specific user. So, I will show you how it's work. Here, I am selecting the sales voucher. So, in, these are the security level. In the username that's Vidya. Vidya can create sales voucher. La here a number of days I am putting three that means they can create last three days sales voucher before three days it is not working okay in the same way payment payment I'm giving to full access for last five days then purchase purchase I am giving full access for last 30 days in this way you can create your user security level for the backdate entry then end of list the next user also you can assign user the next username is git okay I'm putting the password then make it yes okay so Renjit I'm giving the permission for Renjit sales you can create and alter or you can I'm giving only the option for view for five days purchase view for five days payment you can create a I'm giving the permission for payment full access for last 10 days then receipt receipt you can full access for last 20 days then save it so in this way you can assign voucher wise security for separate separate user after that you want to check what are the security level you are giving for specific user for that you can select this menu voucher type security select the voucher type security so there is a one screen 
you will get in this screen you can you will get the id of your all security level for each user this is the username one this is the username two username one you are giving this much for permission create three days for pay, sales payment full access for last five five days this is for 30 days in Tenjit, these are the user security option you are giving for this Tenjit user okay then we can check how it's work for that i am opening another one trialing okay I'm going to shut this company then open username with the password then i'm going to open the dev book the dev book i'm changing the period this much entry is already in this company so i am going to make some changes in the uh, previous date how it, so the if you you are allowing that option to the specific user it will work otherwise it will not work so you can check first sales sales there is only permission for say, this user La, last three days entry you can create you can't able to edit last three days entry so i am going to try edit the, any one of the entry for this user so opening this tally i'm going to uh, sales the sales entry this is 20 actually current date is 25 so i'm going to 20 changing this figure then something more narrations are also put here then at the time of accepting there is one message hi vidya no alteration allowed for voucher sales because we are not giving the permission to this user for changing previous date entries okay but we are allowing the last three days entry for this user so i am going to create one sales entry actually today date is 25 one so i am going to create one sales entry in 24 how it's work you can check go to sales put the date it is 24 select the party item name put the figure what so that time it was saved that means you can create here you can see you can create before la last three days entry before that three days you can be able to create any sales entry okay the same way you can see the payment full access for the last five days so i'm going to check that option display their book changing the period this is a one of the pay one payment is in one January 2020 so I'm going to enter this payment then change something here after saving there is one message hi Vidya backdate voucher is not allowed for voucher payment reason is that the same reason we are already blocked that payment before only the last five days payment entry you can able to edit create and all full option for this one okay in this way you can assign voucher wise equity for each user this is the same functionality will work in second user also okay thanks for watching my youtube channel please subscribe my channel for getting more free videos